Okay guys, so I'm going to try to keep this as simple as possible. Today I'll be making some any barbecue ribs. Oh, and don't feel like me I cook it or your mother cook it or you cook it, your grandfather cook it, me I cook it or me cook it. Okay guys, so with that being said, let's get to it. So right now I'm getting my ribs ready to chop it in half because I've decided to do the half rack. However, if you guys want to do a full rack or you have the individual ribs, that's perfectly fine. Then what I'm doing right now is just taking off some of the excess fat that I saw on the ribs. However, this all depends on the type of ribs that you bought. Then I'm going to go ahead and wash it in some vinegar water. I wash my ribs three times only because this is the way I was taught growing up. Now that we're finished washing the ribs, we're going to go ahead and pat them dry so that we could go ahead and add our seasoning. This is a mixture of all the seasoning that I use. I use the Complete Saison, the Garlic and Herbs Mrs. Dash, the Garlic Powder, Maggi All Purpose, the Adobo, the Paprika and Onion Powder. I did use a teaspoon of each, but just before we season our ribs, we're going to go ahead and preheat our oven at 375 degrees. While the oven is preheating, we're just going to go ahead and start seasoning our ribs. Now I'm just going to spray my foul pan with the Pam cooking spray. If you don't have any cooking spray, you could also use oil, but try to spread it across the pan. Once you add the ribs in, you're going to cover it with a foul pan cover. If you don't have any foul pan cover, you could use the foil paper. Now we're just going to go ahead and set our timer for 30 minutes. Now that our first 30 minutes is up, we're going to go ahead and flip the ribs on the opposite side and cover it right back up and put it in the oven for another 30 minutes. Now we're going to go ahead and mix our barbecue sauce with NEC. You can use any barbecue sauce of your preference. Personally, I do prefer Sweet Baby Ray's. And try not to use too much NEC because you don't want it to take away the taste of the barbecue sauce. Now that our first hour is up, we're going to go ahead and add our barbecue sauce onto the ribs. But let me just point out to you guys that I ended up putting all the ribs in one pan just because it wasn't springing as much water as I wanted to when they were in separate pans. And of course, we want juicy ribs. This is optional, but I didn't put as much NEC in my barbecue sauce, so I went back and added more to the ribs. Now we're going to put the ribs back in the oven for another 30 minutes uncovered. Now that the 30 minutes is up, I'm just basting it with its own juice. Then I'm going to go ahead and add it back to the oven for its final 30 minutes. After two hours, this was the result. The ribs, they came out very juicy and delicious and it could be served with anything of your choice. sharing this recipe with you guys you guys could go ahead and make it for ubby for your family and if you do make it and you love it feel free to give me a shout out or let me know how it goes <laughs>